My name is Tristan Newsom, and I'm the Executive Director of the Whitehorse Food Bank. The Food Bank is a non-for-profit, and the way we work is we provide emergency hampers to anyone in need. It doesn't matter where you're from, or your age, or your income. If you come here and ask for help, that's what we're here for. Since we began operations in 2009, we've helped 6,000 people, and 35% of those are children under the ages of 17. We don't receive any consistent government funding, so all our donations come from community members. So it's really important if you're out and about and you're shopping at the grocery store, keep us in mind. High quality protein, like canned tuna, is something that we always need. Um, we also accept perishable items, so that's something that people don't really consider when they're donating to a food bank. But if you buy a bag of potatoes, we're so happy to get those. The only thing with perishables is you bring them straight to us. So when you purchase them at the grocery store, don't drop them in the donation box because we don't check that every day. So if you're gonna buy a perishable item, it's important to bring it right to us. My name is Chloe Turner Davis. I'm the Director of Gardening at the Whitehurst Food Bank. We started with lettuce, we've also got carrots, radishes, beets, spinach. There's a lot of times where we do run out of produce where I would have to run somewhere and grab 50 pounds of potatoes really last minute. So to have this extra additional produce available is going to make distribution days a lot easier. For us, our numbers stay the same during the summer and the numbers of children accessing the food bank actually increases. At the same time, our donations decrease. Right now, I've done all the planting, but we will be getting a lot of our volunteers that are already committed to volunteering at the food bank and we'll also be searching for new people that are also looking to get involved. My name is Cindy Fleischman and I'm a volunteer at the Whitehorse Food Bank. I realized, having worked in the community for many years, that lots of people have faced the difficulty of choosing between rent and buying food. So the food bank was an, a way to support those people, and volunteering at the food bank is a way for me to give back to my community. Not only being a help to so many families, it also provides a sense of community for all of the volunteers to come here. You can be part of a team and meet lots of new people. Uh, you can be out front working with clients and doing computer work. There's so many different opportunities that it's, a, it's great because you can find what fits for you. We always need consistent long-time volunteers, so people who will agree to come in once a week, and that is as simple as coming in and talking to us or giving us a phone call and filling out a short application. And our location is 306 Alexander Street. We're right in between 3rd and 4th Avenue.